the Vant Spark. As of the making of this video, right now on Amazon, you'll get two of these for under $13. My last headlamp picked up from Dunham's. That is for a couple years. I don't even remember the name of it. Fuel. I'm not sure who makes that. But I dropped it and I needed a new one. And this one lasted for quite a while. But when it dropped, two things happened. And you can see I'm using Ranger bands here. The clasp broke and the hinge. So to keep it closed and keep this usable, just kept it closed with uh, Ranger bands. And you can also see there's some separation in the casing here. Uh, holding this, keeping it closed with Ranger bands, it worked, but it proved problematic when I went and needed to adjust the angle of the headlamp. Like so. The Ranger bands would slip, that would pop off, I'd lose light. This headlamp does not come with the red LED feature. So I needed a new headlamp. Emily from Vaunt reached out to me and wanted to know if I'd like to take a look at one of these and uh, give my opinion on one. Needing a new headlamp? Absolutely. Now if you have done any kind of research on Amazon for headlamps, flashlights, things like that, you've seen these. I've seen them. Passed over them. And the reason why? Completely honest here price it's so cheap uh, two of these come in the box and they're under $15 so neat box nice packaging uh, the moment I saw it I immediately thought of uh, Magpul <laughs> Two hundred lumens. Uh, we've dropped this thing. Been underwater with it. Been in the rain with it. And uh, I don't hurry up and finish this video. I'm gonna be in the rain with it again. Uh, we did get it wet. Uh, Gabriel had it submerged. As you, uh, I'll roll in some video now of him going underwater with it. He dropped uh, dropped his knife just off the side of my kayak. And wanted to retrieve it couldn't find it couldn't see it water's a little murky where we were but he was able to put this on and it provided enough illumination underwater for him to be able to find that knife now it says on Amazon that this is waterproof it's not waterproof water resistant I'll go with that uh, we went underwater with it he went underwater with it and this thing still works testing the waterproofness of it. Yeah. Alright, one thing that we have noticed is when, after being underwater for a few minutes, uh, these lights come on. So I'm, we're suspecting that uh, water is getting in through the seal. Now, I don't think this thing is meant to be submerged. However, it did allow Gabriel to uh, recover his knife. So, now we've had this actually happen once before, or I did at least with mine. We were out there on the river and I had that in my hydration bladder, or in my hydration carrier, uh, the USMC one. And uh, after I jumped in, I uh, can't remember if I had it in with me and we were just kind of floating around or if I, uh, I think that's what I was doing. Anyways, it uh, got wet somehow. And we came home and it was shining those it was shining red lights. Yeah. So all I did was open it up, 
you know, smack as much water as I could out. Just kind of hit it against my hand. So it did have water, a little bit of water in it? Just a little bit. Okay, so, so I think that's where that's coming from. Well, yeah, let's, let's show you what I did, basically. What I did here is this, this tab. All you do is peel that back. It opens up. Now, after that, all I did was hit as much water as I could out. So just kind of tap it against my palm there. And then remove these three batteries. And just settle out and let it just air dry. I'm sure you could probably, you know, take a, a hair dryer, a little blow dryer in there. Kind of clean it up if you wanted to. But I just let it air dry. And this is actually the one that got wet before. You'll see it's still wet now. Those red lights are still on. Mm -hmm. But it still, still, comes still on. works. So I don't know if that's, you know, like not good for it to cut on. But uh, it's, it's still working fine. And like I said, it will get better. And those lights will cut off after you just let it dry out. So maybe that's... that's I'm, I, you know, we're led to believe that that's what it has to be. That's why those red lights are on. Maybe just kind of like warning you, hey, <laughs> you know, it's wet. Don't do not do that again <laughs> kind of type deal. But uh, it still works just fine. So yeah, It has different modes on it. Uh, it has the red LED as well. It has the SOS. And then it has... Uh, Has that on? Oh, that's what I was looking for. That's the mode I was looking for. Just the uh, speed flash. So, uh, waterproof? No. Water resistant? Yes. Uh, when he came out of the water, we came home. You could see the two red LEDs, just barely lighting. And after sitting on the counter for about an hour, it, this would uh, the white LED would flash shut off the red leds would flash so it would alternate white red white red but uh took the batteries out let it dry it's fine this headlamp compared to my old one i like the way that this one feels better on my forehead uh, it's easier to tilt has a 45 degree tilt it seems to rest on my forehead better it doesn't feel like there's so much weight all in one spot. It does seem to, uh, it's more comfortable. Overall, I like it. So where does this end up in the bug out bag? I'm cool with it. Now bug out scenario for me isn't always, or not always gonna be something that's uh, end of the world. It's not always gonna be something that you have to, uh, load up all your uh, combat gear and go fight a lot of times bug out situation can present itself you know uh, dad will call up sometimes and say hey we're stuck at down in the swamp come help out so that's what we'll nice. do the headband not a whole lot to say about it it's very simple which is one of the things that makes it so nice there's not a lot going on here it's nice and comfortable it uh you'll see on some of the headbands they'll have like a, a silicone type deal to you know keep from slipping down your head but they don't have that on this one and I really like it. Now the silicone sometimes will, you know, pull your hair and it'll hurt, but uh, having just a nice, a simple elastic strap on there, easy to adjust, just pull to tighten it up when you need to or pull to loosen it. Easy stuff, guys. You gotta love it. So, there you have it. That is the Vont Spark headlamp. Again, 200 lumen light great you got white and red capabilities so you can't beat that guys and sos function with the strobe and all gotta recommend this light now again you can as time of this video you can pick two of these up from amazon for twelve dollars you gotta love that guys i wholeheartedly recommend the Vont spark for somebody that doesn't want to spend a lot of money but will get wants great quality and that's what we're all about guys the Vont spark is the way to go and again it's comfortable it has a pretty clean look to it it's not bad adjustability it's just nice guys simple battery all right guys real quick before you go we got a 10 percent discount code for you go check it out in the description box below like Vaughn up send them a message tell them we sent you and uh have a great day wherever you're at folks remember the Vaughn spark check it out give it a try and as always, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather, and God bless.